World War II. In the early morning hours of the Allied D-Day invasion, thousands of paratroopers from the 82nd and 101st U.S. Airborne Divisions landed in the Normandy countryside and liberated the small town of St. Maraglise. The night of, of June the 5th, uh, June 6, 1944, is probably one of the most indelible moments in American military history. Madame Simon Renault, her husband Alexander, the mayor of saint mer and their three young sons witnessed the triumph and tragedy of D-Day firsthand. We had front row seats uh, of, on, on, on what happened there because we were, we were living on the, on the square. The Germans shot all the paratroopers who landed in the trees. They did not take any prisoner. saint mer became the final resting place for thousands of soldiers killed in the battle. But they would not be forgotten. Madame Renault took it upon herself to care for the graves of the boys who gave their lives so that her sons could grow up in peace. All her life changed entirely uh, after the invasion. And then, letters from American families began to arrive. Within a couple of months after my father's death, my grandmother contacted Mayor Renown and asked him, Is there anyone in your community that could possibly put some flowers on my son's grave? The mayor gave the letters to his wife. Madame Renault, who spoke fluent English, reached out across the ocean to strangers in need. Dozens and dozens of people wrote to her. They responded immediately and sent her a picture of my father's grave with the flowers and with them there and with their son there. And that was a tremendous boost to my grandmother. When Life magazine published a photo of Madame Renault tending to Theodore Roosevelt Jr.'s grave, even more letters began to pour into the town. Madame Renault answered every single one of them. She saw the boys laying outside on the church ground. In her heart, she knew what a mother was feeling when she got that telegram. It helped a great deal knowing that there's somebody there taking care of their son's grave. It's part of our heritage that we uh, uh, express uh, our gratitude to the American people. Join us for a journey into the life of a woman whose heart knew no bounds, Madame Simon Renault the mother of Normandy.